What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here and we are rocking an old school John Ford Lakers camera angle. I am still traveling but I just got word that Apple is hosting a media event, a back to Mac media event on October 20th at 10 a.m. in their Cupertino headquarters and I want to talk to you about what I expect and what I think we're going to see from this media event. So ignore the blinking light over there, right behind my head, there, and let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's start with some of the obvious. Apple makes many products other than mobile. It seems like the mobile gets the lion's share uh, of the attention. On the logo, I'll put a picture of it right now, there is a little picture of a lion peeking through the side, uh, which is presumably supposed to be a sneak peek at the next version of Apple's desktop software, OS 10.7. Now, before you think it's going to be shipping next week, uh, we saw a sneak preview of 10.6 Snow Leopard, uh, almost a year before it finally hit our computer. So presumably, uh, this is going to be the same thing. As far as feature list for 10.7, uh, no one really knows right now. It would really just be general speculation. But look for us to finally get a chance to see uh, what the next generation uh, desktop software and operating system uh, is going to look like. Probably the big highlight of this event is going to be in the uh, portable computer lines, presumably the MacBook Air. Uh, there have been rumors of 11.6, 11.7 inch panels floating around for a while that are going to be part of this completely redesigned MacBook Air. Uh, a few weeks ago, Apple started to pull the super drives from the shelves for the current MacBook Air, uh, leading to speculation that either this will have optical media built in, which can sound very Apple style for, uh, for a MacBook Air line, or they're going to completely do away uh, with the CD-ROM which and DVD-ROM, which probably wouldn't be the best move. Uh, we're going to see a complete redesign of how the device looks, uh, presumably with two to three USB ports, and perhaps finally the first time we're going to see actual HD webcam uh, built into the MacBook Air line. And hopefully this MacBook Air will take the design cues from the rest of the line, give us sort of the black bezel around the screen, and the full multi-touch trackpad without the physical button. Are you guys excited about a new MacBook Air? Is 11.6 inch, 11 inch screen in general too small for you guys? Uh, maybe the sweet spot and sort of be Apple's almost netbook, although certainly at a premium price. Uh, the rest of the laptop line is also due for a little bit of an update, especially the MacBook Air, or I'm sorry, the MacBook Pro line. Uh, probably just a spec refresh of the core line, you know, perhaps the new Core i3 or Core i5s. Um, and the MacBook Air will presumably be powered by a new Core i3 ultra low voltage processor, which certainly should up the speed uh, from the long in the tooth current Core 2 Duo chips. Anyway guys, I wanted to give you sort of a quick recap of what I expect us to see and what I think we're going to see. Are you guys excited about updates to the MacBook Pro and new MacBook Airs to see OS 10.7? I think OS 10.7 is probably what I'm most excited about. Um, want to hear what you guys have to see. Do you agree, disagree? I am John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo and be sure to stay tuned for uh, live updates from the Apple Media event, which again will be the October 20th at 10 a.m. Of course, we'll be doing you know minute by minute sort of as it goes uh, updates. Anyway, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.